Welcome back everyone to another tutorial. Today I want to shortly demonstrate as on how you can set up a wall climb like this one. And we also combine it together with the wall jump which we made in earlier tutorials. And we also don't want it to intervene. So what we do is, is that if I press up or W in this case I will climb up. If I press S I will slide down. And if I let go of all the buttons I will drop down. So let's get right into it. So here's our scene. It's just from the last tutorial. The only thing I did is I changed some walls around to make here a wall and these are of course marked as wall with a tag wall and we've got a player here. And before I start uh, what I did was I set up a short animation of a wall climb and I know it's not really the best animation, but I just use what's available in this night package. And this, I just used a couple of frames of this cast, but I just want to give you the impression that um, the animation is working when you do the wall climb later. Um, in the animator itself, I add one float, which is the vertical speed. So please add that. The on wall um, bool should already be available in case you've set up this wall check and wall jump. And if you haven't done this yet, please go to this tutorial first to set this up. Um, so we're just work working on the total player controller with all the different assets. Great. So um, for the wall climb, I made here the wall climb animation. And to trigger the wall climb animation, I made sure that the vertical speed is greater than 0 0.1 that on wall is true and grounded is false. And the moment grounded is true or speed is uh, less than 0 0.1, it will idle. If it's higher than 0 0.1, it will, um, let's say, go into running animation or move in any other state, depending on the other triggers. Great. So now we have that set up. Um, let's go into the Playmaker uh, function. So within the player, we have quite some FSMs right now. And uh, let's, let's add a FSM here. And let's call it wall climbing. There we go. And the first state would, will be the wall check. And let's just make all the states perhaps first. I'm gonna add one more state here. And this state will be can climb. And let's make one more state here. And let's just call this climbing. Whoops. There, let's make it all clean. I just want to have this from the start uh, because certain things will come back in each state, uh, which is, first of all, the wall check. And what we're going to do is get FSM bool. We're going to use the owner. And the FSM name is um, the direction player. Um, and the variable name is wall. And we're gonna store a value and we're gonna just call it on wall. There we go. And we're gonna do this every frame. Then we're gonna do a bool test. Bool test. And in the bool test, we're just gonna add on wall. And if it's true, we're gonna send I'm going to add the transition finished here. Everywhere we're going to add the transition finished. Let's just do that. And if true, we're going to do finished. And this is also every frame. Then we can go to the can climb. Very good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this over to the can climb. And on wall, instead of is true. We're going to say if if it's false, we finish and then we go back here. So that's the only change we need there. And I'm also going to copy this over. It's getting on wall and also when he's climbing and all of a sudden he's not on the wall anymore. I just want it to finish. I don't want it to be able to climb anymore if you're not on the wall. So I just want to stop this activity. So here's a, as well, if it's not on wall, it's finished and we go back to the wall check. Very good. So in case of can climb, um, so the moment I'm near the wall now, 
the boolean will say like hey i can climb because i'm near to the wall and we have this little um ray cast from the direction in the player um which checks for the wall ray cast to the is this the wall yeah, this is the wall there's a small one 0 0.5 distance and it's pretty much makes it look like you're on top of the wall which is great so and here we go back to the wall climbing and now i want to say because i can also wall jump with this character um, and I don't want to disrupt this wall jumping in case I want to wall jump, but this should just work. But what if I just want to stop and just slowly go up the wall, let's say climbing, then I want to set this only when I play the designated keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set get key down and I'm going to make a new event, um, which we call climb. Yeah, let's add that. And we're going to do this with the W. This is just the key which I'm going to use now, the W and the S to climb up and down. And so I'm just going to copy this and also going to do the S. There we go. So that's to get key down. So as long as I'm pressing down, I will go to the climbing. Climbing state. And what I'm going to do is here is get key up. And, and here I'm going to make a new event. I'm going to call it uh, back to 10 can climb to just also switch back to here. So at the moment I don't uh, let go of the key, I can still, let's say, press it again and go here. So it, it switches between these two as long as I'm still near the wall. So get key up, back to can climb, and uh, this is then also the W and the S. So you can also set the button, of course, and so also that you have the, let's say, um, um, arrow up and arrow down if you want to use those. This is also just possible um, if you want to do it by get key or get button down and get button down vertical axis or something. Right, so can climb up, we, we have to get key down. Um, if So if I can climb, I press W, I want to have the climbing started. Or vice versa, if I jump against the wall and I just want to go down slowly, I press S to go down slowly, otherwise my character will fall down, right? Good, that makes sense, hopefully. And then within the climbing, um, now we want to actually add the movement. And we're going to do this by get access. And we've used to, used to get access before, and we used it for the horizontal axis. And this time we're going to do the vertical axis. I'm just going to write it in there. And now you can decide how fast you can climb. You can do just one, but let's just take 1.5 here. And we want to store this in the new variable which we're going to call vertical speed as and we're going to do this every frame make sure to set this and then we're going to set velocity to d we're going to press here to remove this and then the y should be the vertical speed every frame so we're not going to play around with the x this time this is the y because we want to go up and down Good. And what we also want to do is um, set float value. And the float value is a new variable. We're going to call it vertical speed of the animation. Anim. anim because we also want this speed. And this float value should be the vertical speed. So we have that. Also, every frame, make sure that every frame is ticked uh, because we want to keep it updated every time. And then we're going to set animator float. Animator float. And here we have to specify the game object because the animation is happening on the sprite. And here's the parameter not speed because that's for the horizontal axis, but vertical speed. And the value 
is vertical speed animation. We're going to do this every frame. And what I want to do is copy set float value and set animator float. And I'm just going to copy it in the first status. Uh, float to variable enemy speed. And here I'm just going to put zero. And here also just once, not every frame. I just want to make sure that within this um, wall check or can climb, this should just be zero. Because I'm not pressing up or down. But because I was in a certain momentum and all of a sudden I go out of it, W, it will remember that the value is still zero. So I just want to clear it out just to make it clean. It's not absolutely necessary, but it could mess up in your animator some of the figures because the vertical speed will not go back to zero. It will stay on a certain number. And if you have then something else with vertical speed matched, um, in that case, you might have trouble here. So just make sure to have it clean. And so now we have the whole climbing set up. We're just going to use the vertical axis 1.5. We're going to set the float, the animator float. Uh, going to set the velocity on the y-axis and we're going to set the animator um, animator parameter vertical speed up and down. Good. Um, and within the animator, the wall climb is only targeted to be greater than 0 0.1. Um, because I only want to climb up and the moment it goes down, I just want to have the animation on wall. Um, where we say vertical speed is less than 0 0.1. So I just wanted to hang there, which is just a, a short hanging animation here. You cannot really see it there, but that's the idea. So now we have the Playmaker already set up. So let's give it a test to see if it works. And remember, uh, it's now set up with the ADS, WASD movement. So you can see the little arrow the, the little yellow bar here, this is the wall check. And now when I get to the wall, you can see now I cannot climb, so I can press W, it doesn't work. But if I get close to the wall, it goes to can climb. And if I now press W, it will go up. And if I press now the S, it will slide down. And I will go up. But if I let go, it will drop. And I can still use the, let's say, the wall jump, which we've set up before as well. Um, of course, you can also remove this wall jump function now. Whoops, we also have to knock out in case you fall. But as you can see, I can also climb up. There we go, wow, didn't make it there, didn't jump properly. And the moment I go down here and I press S, it will slide down. So there you go. Of course, the moment I am climbing, I could also just set a little bit this dust animation again. Um, I showed many examples as, as on how this works. So you can just make it spice it up by creating some particles uh, the moment you're actually climbing and just start playing some particles where some sand is dropping or anything you like. Great. So. That is an easy setup to initiate a wall climb. I'm sure there are some optimizations which can be done, um, but this is now a, let's say, the solution um, which I came up with uh, on short notice. So I hope you can use this within your game. Um, and hopefully you also have a better animation than this one, <laughs> because this kind of looks ridiculous. But let's say it, uh, it does the trick. There we go. Well, whoops, something's dropping down. That's also great. That being said, um, I hope it's helpful for you. Please subscribe if you like it, you know what to do, and see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.